and the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man at Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. couple of the low boards and a couple of lane rates this here is actually for power only um this is for peak mail uh this is from a broker that i used to work with and run peak mail with and as you can see they got the memphis to tulsa to memphis just telling you the date that it's going to run if you're going to have how often it's going to run and if you're going to have off days and then they will tell you, let's see here. The rates. They tell you rates per trip. Come on. Sorry. And how many trips? So let me zoom this in so you can get the whole list. Control minus. as steady as possible i wanted to do this from record my own screen on the computer but i don't have a mic hooked up to my computer so you guys are just gonna have to bear with it uh, with these rates and what they do basically they give you a uh, fuel card and um you don't pay for fuel and more than likely after you're done running this particular lane you will have i would say i would say you would have probably about two to three thousand dollar worth of fuel and fuel cards left and um these are some of the lanes here and as you can see that's the rates uh, i used to do this when i didn't have a trailer um these lanes pay roughly a dollar amount most of them are teen some are solo um, it's a whole story into this so um, you can make good money in, during peak mail season within a short amount of time if you look 11, 27, or 12, 22 and that's all profit minus let's say factoring fees or whatever um, so a lot of people jump on that and other people usually lease their trucks on to um, UPS, Coyote, so forth and so on for about eight, $900 a day. You get out there and I promise you drivers, you will see lines of truck during peak mail. I mean, lines of trucks in each of these facilities. Um, it's a lot of people that do it. You get paid that whether you run or not. Um, you're just really sitting there like a horse on standby ready to run a race and um it could be good you know um but it's just a it's, just, it's a lot to it um if you guys want me to talk about that i'll feel um just leave a comment below and um i'll do just that but it's a lot to the power only and peak mail um 
I'm just going to let this focus on here so you guys can get a good read and glimpse on it. But um, this is this is power only. I will say this. Throughout the year, don't be scared to mix up your um, your options. You could run drive in. You could run power only. You could run flatbed if you got flatbed experience. Mix it up because each each season of the year has has the something might pay better. I know some people who run grain during so many months and um, then they go to drive in. I know some people who run. Um, flatbed and then go to reefer so it just it just really really depends depend on the time of the year so the, basically don't be afraid to mix it up you know run power only when it's profitable run drive in when it's profitable you know you can always go back there's nothing to say that you only have to run a skateboard you know what i'm saying so um do do what's profitable for you and yours all right um I always recommend staying on the lane, staying on your lane. Only way you leave your lane is if they pay you damn good to leave your lane. And then once you done got paid damn good, you get right back to your damn lane and you work your lane until somebody pay you damn good again to leave your lane. Um, that's the best advice I could give you. How to find a lane, I would say um, it's like matching. When you used to play uh, as kids, when you match two uh, match cards, that's how you do it with finding a lane. You find loads on the load board that runs often from one location to the next location. You should be able to run to that location then back. So I would say within a 240 to 300 mile radius, you should be able to drive to that location and come back and not be tired. Uh, understand? So to me, that's a, a good lane, you know, for you. And it's something you should you don't mind. Let's say um, I don't mind sitting in St. Louis for the weekend wherever you're stopping there you should not mind being there you understand i got family down there so it's not going to be that big of a deal so um that would be the ideal lane all right so now i'm going to